What's up guys, PTC aka We Are The Trend back with a new sneaker story today and today the story will be on the Air Jordan 19, the 28 day of flight edition. So let's jump right into that. Alright guys, so I decided to do this shoe because it's been exactly a year since I entered the contest and also because I know Indeed wanted to know the story behind it and I think T-Blake did too also. So a little bit of a backstory, Jordan was actually running a contest through Instagram and they actually had designated days to post each number Jordan, starting from the Jordan 1 and ending at the release of the 28. It actually took me a while to like really get it through my head like what this contest was and like it was pretty much just like an easy way or a hard way depending on how you look at it to win a one of one shoe from Jordan. So it took me until the 19th day to realize like, oh, uh, you should probably participate. So since it was the 19th day, I pulled out my Jordan 19 from the CDP pack. It's the bread colorway. So I was hanging out with one of my friends who really doesn't think like the whole YouTube thing is weird like some of my friends do. So he's normally pretty supportive and stuff. So I was like, dude, would you mind taking a picture of these shoes on my feet real quick? And he was like, uh, yeah, why? And I was like, dude, I could win a contest and win like a one of one pair of Jordans. And he's like, oh, that's cool, dude, I'll definitely help you out. So he helped me out. We went to a neighborhood near mine where there's like a big open field because here's a tip if you want to win one of these things. They normally won't pick a picture that has like a McDonald's sign behind it or like a Wendy's sign. You normally want the picture to be, have like a clear background. So that's just a tip if they ever decide to do something like this again. So we go to this open field and it's actually like downpouring rain. And I had work in like two hours from the time that we started. But the thing is I really needed to get it done that day because the 19 is the highest number Jordan that I have. So if I didn't finish it that day I pretty much just would be out of it and wouldn't have a chance at all. So we're in his car, it's downpouring rain, I'm trying to jam these things on my feet. Because anybody who has these knows they're kind of like snug and sometimes a challenge to get on. At least for me, maybe that's just me, I don't know. So I get the shoes on, I jump out of the car, kind of like jump over some puddles and stuff. And luckily right by the open field there's like this little gazebo type thing with a bunch of picnic tables inside of it. So I jump up on this picnic table and he starts taking pictures of the shoes and all that. And I'm just hating like every picture. I'm like, nah dude, that doesn't look right, it doesn't look right, that doesn't look good. Just being like a major perfectionist. And the weather sucks, it's starting to get all cold, so I'm just starting to get all like angry and annoyed at everything. So we take a few more pictures and then just call it quits and jump in the car, come back to my house. Started editing some of them, they started to look a little bit better on the computer and I was starting to feel better about them. So I posted two of the pictures to Instagram and used the hashtag that they wanted you to use. I think it was just 28 days of flight. I'm pretty sure they made you add something to it, like something about the shoe, like the, the shoe number. And at the time I think my hashtags were messing up so they like wouldn't show up in the feed of that hashtag. So I went to work like still annoyed and I'm like they're not even going to see the picture so it's going to be pointless. But I checked the feed and ended up that they were both there so that was a sigh of relief. And then I think it was like two weeks three weeks later I think I don't remember like the exact time frame but I go on my Instagram and I have a comment from Jordan brand and just seeing the name Jumpman23 in your Instagram feed is like I was like what <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still have the screenshot of the comment they left so if I do I'll leave it right here They pretty much just told me I won and to just reply with an okay to let them know that I wanted to receive my prize. Obviously I want to receive my prize. I was like, is that even a question? You want me to say okay? I, I want them, but yeah, okay, okay. So they actually had me email a certain email address with my uh, address and my name and all that type of stuff. And I even added my size in there just in case. I was like, hmm, maybe they'll throw in something extra. They didn't. But they told me that it would take about like three weeks to a month to receive the package. And I was so ready to receive that package, you have no idea. Like a one of one coming from Jordan Brand themselves, I, I was like, oh my god. And with no tracking number or anything, dude, it, it gets to you. <laughs> so one day I come home from work and normally I just like walk either right upstairs or into the kitchen or whatever. So I walk straight into the kitchen, but I look to my left and I see this huge box on the couch. And I like sprinted to this box, even though it was only like five feet. I like was almost on top of the box pretty much and I read the label and it says Beaverton I'm like no and I really really wanted to film the unboxing so I had to like go grab my camera and stuff and it was just killing me that I couldn't open it right away but I went upstairs grabbed my tripod camera and set up as quick as possible and I actually have a video up on YouTube with that footage if you guys want to watch it I'll leave the link below so I open this box there's a bunch of paper in it 
And the first box I pull out was bubble wrap and it was an empty shoe box. And I'm like, dude, is Nike, is Nike trolling me right now? It turned out to be the sample box that has the BOM label on it. So I put that to the side and was like, uh, all right. <laughs> so the next thing I pull out is this big chest that has XX8 Houston 2013 written on it. And I'm just like, dude, this is so sick. And I know you guys probably want to see the box. So this is it right here. It's this big thing right here, it opens up down here, it's got the metal on it, crazy. And like I said, if you want to see like full details of the box and everything, just check out the link for the video in the description box. So I'm pulling this thing out of the box and I'm like trying not to drop it, it's pretty heavy. I was like, oh, I don't want to drop this thing. So I put it on the ground and I do like this slow opening thing where it's like, oh, like the light should be coming out of it. And I open the box and I'm just like, dude. <laughs> Like the quality, the leather is nuts on these shoes. I remember just sitting there that night, just staring at them and I was like, dude, I own a one of one Jordan. Like that's so crazy that they just came straight from Jordan right to me. And now it's one of my favorite kicks in my collection. People always ask me if I would sell it and I will never sell them because to me, if you win something in a giveaway, I think it's cooler just to keep it because then you have that memory of winning. And plus, I don't want to be an Indian giver anyway, you know what I mean? But this is definitely a shoe that I can like give to my son when he's old enough or something and then he could flex on whatever Instagram there is in 2030 or something like that. I'll be on Instagram like, yo, my dad got these Jordans from 2013, one of one. I don't know why my son would talk like that, but hopefully he doesn't. Son, don't talk like that. I'm definitely very appreciative of this shoe. I'm very honored to have it also. Shout out to Don Drew. I think he ended up getting like the 17s or something like that in this. And he doesn't live too far away from me. So that's two in like a very close proximity. There were also people winning two of them. Like there's people who got two of the shoes in the mail, like a five and a nine or something like that. And I, I thought that was kind of messed up. I mean, you should definitely give it one to each person, but guess Jordan Brand don't play like that. But I really hope you guys like this sneaker story. It wasn't something too crazy, but just a story I figured I'd tell you guys about these shoes. I've definitely been trying to figure out more ideas for videos, something kind of like the sneaker stories. So if you guys have any ideas or something you'd like to see me do, just please leave it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate your ideas. I thought about just doing like regular stories that don't involve sneakers, but I'm not too sure because I am a sneaker channel, so I don't want to go too far off. So let me know what you guys think about that idea. If you guys like this video, please make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you want to check out the video on these shoes, the link is below. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. <laughs>